Okay, so this is the 10th installment in my Garage to Workshop conversion series. Uh, it's taken a disgusting amount of the year because we had pandemic pricing apply to plywood and everything else and it got stupid expensive. Anyway, uh, prices have moderated a little bit. So I'm gonna work on this section up here today. I've got a piece of scrap right here that will fit nicely. So you guys get to watch my fat ass crawl up there and try to get it done. And if you're watching at home and you've never done this, um, you know, it really isn't as hard as it might seem. section complete. So now what we got to do is figure out what happens next. So we need another box over here because we need something to plug the Heidi into or the Heidelberg. So it needs to be in this general vicinity. Probably around here.
All right, guys, I'm sorry about this being in the view. I don't really have a good place to put this camera, and I have not broke down and bought another uh, captain style mount. So, quick piece of trivia there is no correct height for a box. That's right. It can be up here, it can be down there on the floor. There's no correct height. There's also no correct orientation. Now, different cities may pass different rules, but per building code, there is no such thing as up or down on these. Uh, best practice is to put switches at about here. There are specific guidelines to make them accessible. And one of the things that I recommend is if you are remodeling a house for someone who's older, bring the outlets up off the floor. The, the standard is 12 inches, but 12 inches may be difficult to reach for someone who's older. So there's no reason you can't have outlets up here where they're easy to get to. Um, so anyway, and on that step, I'm going to put it slightly below and in an easy spot for me to get to with my hand. That's, that's the right spot for it. I want it over there. I don't want it over here. Um, so that's why it's going where it's going. This machine's going to come back and I'll probably move that way a little bit. So that'll make this very easy to get to. And this is my means of disconnect as well as my... Um, you know, when I have a means of physical disconnect, it's considered lockout tag out for safety reasons. Now, what I'm doing is not subject to OSHA's rules, but OSHA's rules are there because somebody got hurt. So they're generally not a bad idea to follow. boxes are technically for ranges, but I buy them because they're adjustable. It makes it really easy for me to move boxes in or out as my needs uh, are, are, um, change and evolve. So, you know, again, really shouldn't have this many connectors through uh, a single hole, but it is not going to hurt anything. So yeah, that's, that's how it's going to be. Um, So, so um, wire's gotten really expensive. I've always saved my excess, and uh, today's one of those days where I'm just kind of glad I do, because, yeah, it's gotten really, copper's just gotten, everything's gotten expensive, but building wire in particular is costing more than it should. So, it's always nice to be able to reuse uh, something that looked like it was scrap. There are different ways to do that. That is my preferred way because I find it easy.
this is going to come in. So, for whatever reason, I just happened to keep every circuit breaker I've ever bought that I took out and didn't need. So I have the 30 amp, which is going to go right here. And I'm going to put, actually, I'm going to bring it out because there's no reason not to. So I'm going to put it there. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. See if I can get you guys a better view. All right, so I'm gonna just feed this through here. And sorry, I can't get you guys closer. So the trick to this is to form like a little hook, and then you can work it through here. What you need to think through when you do this is how not to kink the wires. useful so we'll save it at a dollar a foot which is what I think I paid for it last time
hopefully that was the right length. has square tip bits, they are better. This is exactly the color that I want. Station trim. So this is one of my pet peeves as an inspector, is when people do not re-label or mark white wires used as conductors, and it needs to be done at both ends. It's very frequently not done because some folks just don't, some folks are lazy. Sometimes I'm lazy, so I'm not throwing any rocks here. I'm going to leave these just a little bit longer than I think they absolutely need to be. Again, this is just my personal preference for how I like to do this.
I'm going to get a flashlight. Alright, I decided to get the hands-free flashlight so I can see what the hell is going on. I can't figure out why this doesn't want to go in. to be done wires first. I just prefer to do that, find it easier to work with. It doesn't tend to produce as clean of a install. fighting on this one. So being in a box might have been So I think what happened is one of these got bent sitting in a box, so I think it'll be okay at this point. Make sure it's off. And I retrieved the... There we go. I retrieved the bit that got stuck in there, so that was annoying, but not, not the end of the world. I had to flip the power off to get it out. Well, I'd have to, but I chose to because it's just a lot safer that way. like they're different lengths, but they were cut at the same time. Alright, so now we're going to just push that back in there, get it nice and dressed, at least as nice as my panels get. And then the other end of it will get dealt with at a later point. So point I've done what I think I'm gonna do today I need another piece of plywood maybe two um, I don't know I'm gonna stop for a minute <laughs>